good evening and welcome back to factory town where i am a lot more awake than i was before so everything is going to be good uh we finished last episode with these trains stuck up here and we need to figure out why um the manabrick train makes sense because it's empty the uh coal train makes sense because it's empty the beef train does not make sense it is completely full so i don't quite know what's happened there so <clears throat> the mana brick and oh, excuse me, the mana brick train so this is going to push down for mana brick if this has some boxes of mana brick in it now it won't have boxes of mana brick in it because well it can't go anywhere because it's it's not allowed it, it, it can't it can't go so so what i think i need to do is a better job than this so originally we'd only have uh number eight on this um because it's the mana brick route the number eight this is town number eight uh so we'd only run town number eight and we just have a push down so it go down so if any trains come along here they would go down that's what they need the problem to that is that what was happening was that a train would um need to come down here but we'll be stuck on a wrong on the wrong rail so we need to go back to the source of the wrong rail that's the problem so i think what i need to do i need to change these to not be that they just need to be standard whatever the standard version of it is is what they need to be so let's do that and then paste this uh oh control oh there we go let's copy these ones as well let's uh so coal Grain, raw chicken, raw beef, and raw fish. Was that right? Yep. Also, I messed that up. So that's that's one of the reasons why the beef train went by. I changed the uh, the thing. The thing's cooked beef. Incorrect. Incorrect. So that's that solves that problem. Okay. So there's that mystery. That mystery now makes sense as to why the uh, the beef train did this thing there. So we need to do that. And then we need to change these ones back to be uh, animal feed. Boom, okay. Um, and then we want to copy this and we want to paste here. But we know this causes a problem. Okay, we know this causes a problem. Do I have the tracks to do all this? Um, I think I had to stop because we don't have the iron. Was it the iron? To build this, I don't I don't think. Let's let's um Let's try. Uh, oh god, I just put paste on that, didn't I? Right. Uh, can we change this to be a none filter and copy that, and then do that and go paste? And that's not going to do what I wanted to do, is it? No. Change this to be a no filter copy and paste. Oh, it's not doing it. Why is it not doing it? Copy, paste. No, I don't want any filter on them. No. No, that sucks. You can't turn off the filters with them. Oh, really? Oh, that's just... Oh. Right, okay, okay. I have to replace them all. and they are all fuel loaders again okay right so that's not a problem i guess when you've got a nun it doesn't overwrite anything so yeah so we can afford this now so that's good so we can go around and we can do this here there wasn't it Oof. yep then we'll copy some trees and we want to put the trees in there like that then we'll go underground And it's this side. Do you know what? Let's remove that. Let's come down here. And let's copy this because we have a... Um, uh, oh, no. Uh, um, these are set up in a specific way. So I need to use the uh, build tools 
select blocks rather than uh, this one. This one is select columns and it selects stuff above ground, which is not all we want. So we'll do that there, but on. And then these are all output and these are all just input. So there we go. Okay. So now we can connect these rails. The trains won't go very far. We need to connect to these rails here. Uh, did we do it this side already? We did not. Okay. Copy some trees. Like so. Okay. And then uh, go on the ground. Doop, 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 and boom, there we go. Okay, so that's going to fix all that. Okay, okay, cool. Right, and then obviously you're going to be connected to there. You to there, you to there, you to there, you to there. And let's remove those. So now we come up here and we want to connect this train, this train, this train. So, um, <clears throat> how do we fix this? How do we fix this? Uh, so the beef train's gonna go around. Well, let's test. Let's see if the beef train will go all around and uh, actually do its thing. Uh, I'm not too sure if it will or not. The animal feed train. So the animal feed train, this is where the problem arises. So the animal feed train will come down here, um, pick up the animal feed, come up, and then and then just, just don't be like, oh no, I need to, to go around and, and it's a problem. So we need a way to not have the animal feed train, if it comes up, come back down again. The only way I can think of doing that is having these be on the other side. So it joins before it hits this. So this would have to become a three-way rail-wide system. Um, that's the only real way I can figure out how to do that. So, um, if we go here and we look, so like the inside lane here, let's move this out of the way just a moment, uh, comes along here and comes down. And that's fine. That's fine. So so it comes along before this one here. So this comes up and goes away. But if a train is coming from the opposite direction, um, uh, it will obviously go down. But if it needs to come up and go that way for whatever reason, it will come up and it will go this way. Um, and then it will come straight down again. So this join needs to be this side of it and then crosses the track and does something here which is bizarre but kind of the only way i can see of doing this because i can't think of any other way to um to have this system set up like this um Still, there's a space here to do things anyway, so we have we have the space to do things here. So let's set up something like that, uh, so I can copy paste it. That's what we need to do. So let's. Um, the problem is these these arrows here, these left, right, left, right. They they are they're going to change depending on where you are, which means I can't build a template for it because it's going to. Do I go down to one rail? Do I go down to one rail and make all the trains just travel clockwise? It's kind of a waste if I do that, um, especially for like the animal feed. So the animal feed would come out rather than going up here along and down, it would have to travel all the way around here all the way down here all the way down here all the way back here to here before it can do what it wants to do well 
but it would work. It would work. It would be guaranteed to work. Hmm. Or, or alternatively, do we build eight rails here which go clockwise and eight rails here that go anti-clockwise? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven, eight. And then we just turn on and off the the uh, the the pushers depending on what the need. Because then we could also do the whole um, this could still be up here, and then these eight just have their joint track because they're anti clockwise this side and it comes down. Um, and then in between the rails, it will go boop, boop, boop. The trains come along, go oh, yeah, down here, boom, there you go, or they could come straight down through and join with it, but yeah, hmm. Could we make that work? Could we make that work? Could we do... Uh, let me... Let me go over here. I've got the game paused anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. Um, let's let's rule these tracks here for the moment. We know we know which ones need to be connected and which ones don't need to be connected. So, so we do eight tracks that go clockwise. Three, four... Come on. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we do eight tracks that need to go anti clockwise. This won't work. No, we need gaps in between them. We need gaps in between them because they need to be able to refuel. Trains need to be able to refuel. So this still needs to lie true. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could do that. We could just have the rails set up as they are and just go. This is one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would mean that the anti clockwise ones would have to come down this side and join. Um, I'm, the reason I'm thinking of this, I mean, to do, do what I'm doing here, we could do on the rails we currently have. You know, clockwise, anti-clockwise, we just move this to this side and that to this side and this to that side. It would just be easier for my brain to comprehend the whole, these rails go one way, these rails go the other way. So you'd know. I would like to definitely put a gap in between them, but I can't do that now because that would involve moving the towns. You know, like if I wanted to bring these four rails down by one and put these four rails up by one. Actually, it wouldn't because the rails could run next to this and this could come along there because these are not going to have that much in them. So that's not a major problem. You could come forward one. You've got one spare line there. So bringing the rails all forward by one wouldn't be terrible. Yes, it would because of that there. That can be moved, I suppose. Um, that's just to get one to get a gap in between them, but I wouldn't have to necessarily do that. Although, right, right. Let's let's. Um, sorry, I'm. I'm. Go we're gonna. We're gonna be. We're gonna be doing things on camera that I should probably be doing off camera. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Um, So we've got that that there. Um, so then we'd have to have a track that comes down. The track that goes up. Okay, so let's let's do the, the up one first. So this this would be coming up and it would be joining the anti-clockwise, which is the second run. Ten. 
technically this is coming down so this comes down this comes down this comes down so that and then this one comes up and actually technically joins both so you go that way and that way that way and that way um do you know what i'm gonna actually build this without the cross lines for the moment for the moment so we have a line come in and come down You will come up the center and you will go no nope, that's not right that's not right that's the return that's the return so that's anti-clockwise so, so yeah so this would be the that way okay so that's the return line so then the input lines would be here so you'd come down here Run these all out a little bit longer so I can visually see things. Oh, uh, go away. You come up there. Okay, and then this one would come in and come down here. So it's nice and even and nice and easily seeable. But on, like that, okay? Okay. And then you would have obviously a pusher. Uh... Oh, mm -hmm. I've got to turn my alarm off. Um, you'd have a pusher. Didn't we have a. Uh, oh no, I. Nope, hang on, they did it. Um, so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One capital is two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Not that I need pushes. Eight. Because there's no rail here. There's no rail. So if you're coming along. So if I copy this and then I paste it here. Um, and then also you want to paste it there and there like that. Oh, I didn't hold control. Copy that. So boom, boom. Copy. Like that. Okay. So if it's a train one, it comes down. It, it, it will go. If it's train one, it'll come up. It'll go that way. Or if it's train one, it'll go that way. Um, we shouldn't need train ones pushes on this well we should do but this is this is number four so we just have to say before so this will work universally this will work universally and then all we have to do is come in and go well you know for this one for instance so train one does indeed go that way it never needs to go the other way so it should always push that way anyway so doesn't matter that's kind of redundancy don't know why we'd ever need it but just in case uh two is fine three is fine four we don't want so we just disable them okay. Um, three is technically the other way around. So let's disable the ones around. So disable, disable, enable. Uh, you're that way. You're that way. You're that way. And you're that way. So we do that. We just disable these ones. So the train will come up and it will go one, that way. Two, that way. Three, nope, that way. And if a train comes along and is labeled uh, three, 
for instance, so this will come up here and it will go that way for three, but it won't come down here because the three isn't down here, the three's here. And if a train with three comes along, it will be forced to come straight down. Now, we need bypasses though, don't we? We need bypasses because we need um, a train that is filtered to uh, four. I know, I know this isn't, I know this isn't connected um, uh, because you you make it you make it here, um, so you make it here. So, but you never feed yourself, for instance. So, um, uh, but four would go up and around. But we do we do need something. What what bypasses? What goes past here? Hold on. Animal feed comes down, boom, comes back up, goes around in circles. So no, so animal feed comes along here, comes along here, goes down there. It doesn't need to pass this. I've said it a couple of times, but I don't think any trains need to pass anything. Um, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not. This has to do with that. Um, because I'm not, I don't, I don't do. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. So the hardware train that's carrying pickaxes comes from here, will be labeled as four. We'll join the rail, we'll come along along track four, we'll come along here and doesn't want to come down here, it wants to go to here. Unless we tag it with a different four. So it's not four, it's four. Sail. And then these become the four sail tags. We should use multiple tags. That would probably make a lot of sense. Uh, the only drawback to this, um, uh, as wonderful as it is, um, I couldn't copy it and rotate it to put it here because then everything could be facing the wrong directions. So if I was to put it here, for instance, put on to say it's lined up with that one there, um, uh, suddenly one is going the wrong way. Plus one is not here. One's down here. So, so we can't we can't use it for that purpose. I'd have to build a second version of it coming down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think I think I think I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Um, let me re-enable all of these. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, let's disable all of these by default. And then let's um, move this up here to our template structure um put it there let's remove all these resources up here and flatten down the train a bit up here so i can put another one in okay let's remove all this here i think this will universally plug in and it'll be fine well, oh no hang on it needs to be modified ever so slightly because it needs it needs the um the run throughs and it? it needs the uh right uh, um yeah it needs run throughs so we need to run a track like this all the way across it It has to have that because we need trains that um, that are coming along. Won't be tagged with one, but we'll carry on. However, I'm just kind of thinking that when you come off of here and you return, you're only going to tag with three. I suppose we could tag this with three and three sail. So when a train comes back that is selling goods, so the sail trains be a different thing. So uh, wherever the sail train happens to be, uh, that's this one, isn't it? Yeah, we could tag this as one sail. And then this is one uh, which is producing... Uh, that's raw beef. Where's the cooked stuff? Oh no, that is the cooked stuff. And you're delivering two here, aren't you? Doop, 
Yep. Instead of doing this one, we'll tag this with just the tag one sale. No, that won't work. We'd have to be filtered as well because uh, obviously we're selling the stuff. Uh, that would actually be a better idea doing that as well because then the pickaxes, we can have one train that is just tagged as one and we know it goes to one, which is delivery. And the one sale means it won't go to the delivery one because it doesn't match the filters or the tags. So it will go to the sale one. So we can have two separate trains and I don't have to try and figure out how to do them later. So let's do this as uh, one sale. Um, I still want to leave the filters on there because another one sale will be selling something else so we want to push this one down a different one we could just have one sale come off and then they filter different things but we won't do that we'll tag this as one sale and then we tag this as one um, and uh, without space one sale Not all of them would have to be tagged with one sale. I mean, this is only selling back to the system. So, you know, but um, like the Minecraft, the, um, uh, the pickaxe one will um, be doing two, two, the trains will become to pick up, one train will become to pick up for itself and then one would be going back to sale. Um, and then we'll have like a two sale and a three sale for the pickaxes because we'd have a train Maybe even with a single carriage on it, just picking up for to town one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, not five, because that's where it's making it, so. But, um. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. And it's tagged with sale, so it's on the same track. So it's one, it's still on the one, one track, so boom, 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 comes along here. Um, for instance, and it will come to here and go, hey, I'm one sale. Well, I'll come down here and I'll sell. Obviously, we're not doing that because we're not selling to ourselves, but, um. Ah, I'm sale, so now I'll come back and go away. That's fine. And then when I come to this one, hey, I'm not one or four, or whatever. You know, um, uh, I'm 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 not that tag. So I will skip that because the train is one sale, not one. So it would ignore a signal that is one. And I, they're all cumulative. They have they have to match. So it has to have the item filters and the signal tag to go down. So if I uh, got another train here and I filtered you with, um, let's say cooked beef and tagged you as two, I don't think you come down here. No, no, see, even though it's cooked beef, that's fine because it's tagged as two, it won't go down there. So even if we tag it as one, and do the same thing, it just goes by because it's not the correct the correct tag so it must it must combine to both it must do the tag and it must do the filters so so yeah so that'll work that'll work for us that'll work for us and then we don't have to worry about this here this this can just continue just being tagged as one um which is absolutely fine anything comes along here that's just tagged as one will come down we'll get pushed down anything that's tagged as two we'll get pushed down um that isn't right at all these shouldn't be here um, this should only be for whatever town it wants to be enabled to so that's fine so let's actually disable all of these because we don't want to push three four five six seven eight nine ten down here to be honest with you, we don't need all of the down the down ones um however we do need that redundancy system that i was implementing before where um oh they all just need to be tagged the same name they all just need to be tagged to eight so, so this this will all be tagged to town four or three or whatever you know it's that and these up ones are the ones that are tagged differently so this will all be town four let's implement this let's implement, implement it and see if it works without filters let's just get rid of that get rid of that there copy this paste it uh there that's fine i need to edit this here and remove those because i don't want it to be it's too away from everything so that's fine um, it, it, if you can't it's very weird you can draw tracks on top of tracks that's not a problem but you can't copy tracks 
um, and then place them on top of tracks. Do what you do. It's it's very bizarre. It's very weird, very weird. But okay, let's connect up the rails that we know exist. Okay, so I think this is um, version 70, 71, um of our uh, seventy of our of our system. So yeah, uh, this is town number four, isn't it? So let's turn this on, copy, and uh, let's just do that and paste and let's just do that and paste but on there you go okay and then so one is this way two is this way three is that way four is that way five six seven and eight is that way and that's what we need to do the rest of them can be disabled and if for some bizarre reason they don't end up coming all the way along here down to down to here what I should probably do is I should do a rail like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just a dead end rail like that. And then if any trains end up here, we can be like, oh, something's wrong with this train. Yes, it might cause the entire system to break if two trains end up broken, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, okay, so. Um... Testing, 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 testing. Let's grab the animal feed train. Let's speed you up. We know you work. We know you work. Uh, this is all going to be all sorts of broken here. So uh, actually, the beef train, this would be a good test as well. The beef train coming along. Let's put you behind the beef train. Go on, you pick up. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm going to grab you. I'm going to put you behind the beef train. Look, so uh, you are four. Yes, you are four. Yep. Uh... Yeah, you would have come up and gone four, but you'd have gone back down again because this isn't re-implemented yet, so that's fine. This is eight, so this should be fine. And remember, if the um, pusher doesn't have a filter on it, it just uses the tag. Because uh, no filter it means no filter, whereas none means nothing. Nothing and none are different. <laughs> different terminologies. So here we go, here we go. You can come along here. Doop, 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 doop. What are you? You're one sail. Oh, uh, you might need to be. No, we changed that already. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. You've come down here. Awesome. You've come down here as well. You shouldn't have come down here. Yeah, you should have. Yes, you should have. That's fine. Yep. Beef and animal feed come down here. That's correct, isn't it? No, animal feed doesn't come down here. Why? Why are you? Why? Why is the animal feed come down here? Hold on. Uh, why is the animal feed empty as well? Uh, oh, this should be an animal feed pickup, shouldn't it? Yeah, so this doesn't want to be here. This wants to go... Right, okay. Use multiple tags. Use multiple tags. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem, okay? Dash off. Okay, no enter. Boom. Copy. Paste. Paste. One. Pick dash up. Okay. I'm going to copy that bit there so I can just click these and. Uh, Oh, no, don't put a space in. Oh. No, don't put a space in. <laughs> Keep pushing space. Um, so, hopefully you can already see what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is an A pickup. So this this is the pickup delivery, and this is the drop off delivery. Okay, and then we go to a train like the beef train, 
and we know that this is a four drop off drop dash off and a one pick dash up using capital letters all very important to use capital letters no space in between them okay so this drops off at town four this is town four and it picks up at town one this is a town so we've always done the pick up or the drop off first haven't we drop dash off pick dash up okay um let's Take you, put you back on track four. Let's take you, put you back on drop four. Okay. We come down here. Um, I don't know if this will just work without that. It may do. It may do. Okay. Let's let this go. All of our other trains are going to be broken, so we need to go around. Okay. So you went down here because you are four drop off. You are not four drop off. So you know, I'm not dropping off at four. I'm picking up at four. So yeah, uh, you are going to be a four. Remember, the first ones always drop off. Uh, so and pick up. Okay. Um, boom, 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 and then you are one pick up because you know you're going to chick him. That's fine. Um, now this isn't tagged. So let's see. It's not tagged, and because it's not tagged, it should just come down here. Yeah, because it's not tagged. As I said, blank none is not the same as nothing. So yeah, so you'll come down here and do this. You'll come up here. This needs to be a four um, drop off. Bump, copy, paste, paste. Uh, this is going to be an eight. Oh, it's a bit more effort of typing everything in, but it makes so much more sense. It's going to make so much more sense to do the things you want to do here. Um, you are the old system still, um, but it makes it makes a lot more sense here because then, rather than having to, you know, is the train full? Is the train not full? Is it blah blah? Also means that I didn't need to do this. I could have done the old implementation. Uh, this one here and just had these as labeled as pick up and these labeled as drop off and it would have worked it would have worked with the old system um, however i do like this system because it's much easier for my brain to go right this is coming from here and this is coming from here so yeah yeah but we could use the old system and i should just have changed the tags it's amazing how i'm going through things and it's not that I'm remembering things, it's that my brain's going, multiple tags are a thing and you can change the way stuff works. So four and four doesn't work. If you have a four here and a four there, it doesn't work. So you need to change them. So one is a pick up, one's a drop off. And it just makes so much more sense. Label things more uh, intricately so stuff works. So I'm going to go around now and I'm going to fix all the trains. I might go back to the old layout here just to make life easier for myself. Although I do like... The look of this um yeah i'm gonna go around and label things so um yeah but this can all be labeled as eight drop off um so uh um okay this is an eight drop off doesn't need a filter on it now doesn't need a filter so we know if a train is is here for a drop off that's what it's here for okay and it's fine if a train comes down here um and uh has to turn this way for seven it's not gonna come down here because this is a seven pickup um or that might do because it might no it will still be tagged as an eight drop off so i still need to do this yes i still need to do this that won't work for the okay so I'm, I'm gonna go around and implement this everywhere and try and find and rename all my trains if i can i think i might just put these in here with the the offsets and then we'll just catch the trains as they're dead in the end so so yeah we shall leave that one here we shall come back next time Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.